today the children um, are, had a surprise visit by their parents and different relatives um, as a culminating event from something that we've been working on um, all week long. They're reading, they had a surprise visit from their relatives with, um, they brought books and they brought snacks and they are spread out around the library and they're reading and they're spending the rest of the day reading with one another and spending that quality time and um, enjoying a few snacks together. All week long I started off by reading a book called The Relatives Came by Cynthia Ryland and what they had to do was they had to make connections between themselves and the characters in the text. So we identified some key events, we retold the story, and then we brainstormed what it would be like if we had a surprise visit or what was it like the last time we had a visit with the relative. So what they did was they brainstormed some key events that they would that they did and then we used what's called um, the rule of four where they had to stretch their sentences by adding who, what, when, where, or why. Um, and then they wrote their story using a storyboard. So they had each event, they had to sequence the story in you know the events in which they happened. So today was kind of like a fun event to you know share with the students and the parents. On Meet the Teacher Night, I wrote a letter to all the parents. And um, for those parents who showed up, I told them about what I was planning. And I told them that it was a surprise. So if they were to RSVP to me to please send it back in a sealed envelope without the children knowing, and those parents that couldn't come, um, at Meet the Teacher Night, I sent home a letter and sealed that. So I got a, such a huge response. So the children had no idea all week long what was going to happen, but they knew there was some kind of secret going on. They knew there was some surprise for them. I just thought it would be so nice to see their faces, and you know, um, that's just my favorite part. You know, I like it to be, if they knew about it, I don't think it would have the same kind of impact on the children. So I think they're so motivated right now, and they're so you know, inspired to want to read and, you know, spend some time. The fact that some of the parents even dressed up because in the story the, the characters had to travel for, you know, long distances to see their relatives and some were from the Appalachian Mountains, so we talked about what the culture is like there, how they dress, and so some of the parents even dressed up like they were from, you know, and, and that they were in a car for a long time, they would bring their snacks, so that's why you saw parents bring baskets with snacks and books and blankets. This week we will write we were reading a lot about relatives, and then we came to the library today. Miss Vecchio said to come to the library with her because it was a surprise. Everybody was like, "Hi!" And then, and then, like five minutes later, when we got to the library, everybody was so surprised. All the like, moms and dads came. I feel like so surprised happy if once my mom came I was like jumping and crying and everything. My favorite book is Green Eggs and Ham and Dr. Seuss is the author. I get some books, I get like the pop-up books and I start looking at them and I look through all of them and I, and I start reading them and then I just like read for the whole time. A lot of parents showed up and nobody noticed um, and I was actually really surprised. It was actually really nice that everybody just came. It was, act, it was really nice, of, of my teacher, of the principal, it was actually really nice. My favorite book is Ten, Animal, Ten True Animal Rescues. Before we came here, I didn't really know what was going on. I thought we were just going to have a normal lesson in the library. And then I saw you guys taking pictures, and then I had to teach her why, is, why, is, um, why are people here. And then she said, and I saw everybody come, all the parents. And I was excited, but I didn't see my mom until later. Um, my favorite book is probably the... I like the chapter books of... What's it called? Holes. I saw the movie and I like the book. Um, I have a couple of favorite books, actually. Um, well, I have Vegetarian Bithia, um, The Summer of the Swan, um... Um, I don't really read for my family. I read either by myself or my my um, parents read to me. Like, um, I didn't think my mom was gonna come, but it turns out she did. Mom, I'm very happy you came today. I thought you threw out the paper that um it said that yeah about the surprise. I love you. I was actually excited about today. I was so happy. My mom actually told me. Well, she actually showed me. 
and I was supposed to not know, and I knew. I was so happy, and I was wondering why she told us we were not allowed to have snack. Well, um, my teacher, we're in the classroom, uh, she says, um, later we are going to go to the library to cool off so we can feel, um, feel a lot better, and we'll be doing our work there, and then now we came into the, um, the library, we sit on the carpet, she, um, had us with a clipboard and a pencil, and to make us think that we had, we we're doing a lesson here. Well, um, when she was talking, I saw someone behind Miss Vecchio, and then she said, well, look who's here. And everyone was taking pictures, it was everyone's parents. Now, fortunately, my mom didn't get to make it, but I still like today. Well, um, mom, you are the best, and I know you couldn't, I know the reason why you couldn't come, and it's okay, but you're still the best, and you're... I love you so much. My favorite book is Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Roderick Rules. Ms. Vecchio has been planning a little surprise behind our backs and wouldn't tell us. And when I saw my dad come in, I was so excited. And my friend Morgan actually pulled me down and my dad asked me, why did I go down? Dad, thank you for taking your time off work and coming to surprise me. I really enjoyed it. My favorite book is called Dork Diaries. The Ice Princess. My favorite thing about the library is that I can always read and check out books that I that I love to read. My favorite thing about Miss Vecchio is that she's so nice and she is the best teacher in the world. My favorite book is Nancy Clancy, Secret Admirer. It was kind of scary because all we was all we were doing was um, writing down something, and then we heard a sneeze. We looked back, and then the cameras. Um, said look at your teacher and then all we knew was there was our relatives coming in. I think Mrs. Vecchio is the best teacher ever. Uh, I was very excited. I didn't know this was going to happen so I just had, I got to eat, I got to eat that and I got to see people. Um, I've been reading books. My favorite book is Dinosaurs. Miss Vecchio is a nice teacher. Well, um, I didn't know my mom and my sister were coming when we got to the library. I thought we were just going to do work, and I was so surprised that my mom and sister came. And I'm so happy, and now it's the end of the day already, and I really would like to stay here a little longer. Hi, Mom. I really am excited that you came here, and I can't wait to go home with you, and... I'm glad I know homework and it's a Friday. Well, I just read um, a book that um, my friend's mom, my grandma from, and I read it, the whole book, and it was really interesting, so I really liked that book. It's called Read to Me, Grandma. Miss Vecchio's a really good teacher and I really like her. Yeah, she's a really good teacher. She's good at teaching and she's like, she loves all of us and she's really nice.